Shalom, brothers and sisters. USA Today, again, not the first time, picks a biological man as woman of the year. USA Today picked the trans-identified male as its woman of the year for a second time running, and this time it's someone who advocates for child sex changes. The media outlet chose Lee Fink as its woman of the year for Minnesota. Fink is the first transgender legislator appointed to the Minnesota House of Representatives. USA Today says the awards are a way of highlighting local and national heroines who make a positive impact in their communities every day. Fink made it a priority to ensure children are allowed to have access to gender-altering surgery, recently sponsoring a bill to make Minnesota a trans-refuge state. As we highlighted last week, Democrat governor and lieutenant governor of the state are on an executive mission to force state agencies to push gender-affirming health care. So they're celebrating this guy for mutilating children and making it legal and protected. That is the woman of the year. Where are the women fighting against this? Where is feminists now stopping this? You're being disempowered and destroyed on a public level. And then we're celebrating the mutilation of children. How much more evil can it get? I'm not even, and that's the sad part, I'm not even surprised anymore. It doesn't shock me anymore with what's going on in the world because it is that dark. But I'm not worried because I'm connected to the light. And my little flickering candle will keep flickering and giving light until I'm taken. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.